In today's video, I am going to be reupholstering these really cute MCM chairs. They're definitely not vintage, they just have this MCM style, and I'm actually going to pair it with a real true vintage MCM table. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this adorable corduroy fabric. I'm gonna start just by removing the seat cushion from the chair base, but I really do love the walnut tone of wood that the chair base already has. So I'm gonna leave that intact, just remove these seat cushions and get those recovered. These chair cushions are a little bit um, an, of an odd shape. It's kind of rounded as you can see on the corner. So I thought maybe the upholstering on this was going to be a little bit more difficult, but you'll see it actually was very simple as we move into the project. I picked up two full yards of this fabric and these chairs are actually kind of small. So I did have a bunch left over, which is great because then I can use it for another project. So in this first chair here, I actually made the mistake of not taking off that backing and I ended up going back to this seat cover after I had already finished all the staples around it because I really wanted that black backing. I could have gone and just got some new, um, but I had no intention of going back to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so I wanted to just, I went ahead and just took out all the staples. It was pretty easy. Just use some pliers, pull those staples out and um, was able to take off that black backing and had to do this chair twice, but that's all right, we got it done and you'll see how beautiful it turns out in the end. Here on this chair, you can see that wood backing of the seat cover because I did take off the black um, backing and then here I'm going to actually put a little piece of trim around where I stapled that backing back onto the chair because you can see where the little staples had been pulled from it but this backing was still in really good condition so it was perfectly fine to use it and then I just used some of the extra fabric cut little strips and this will actually make sure that all of your staples are covered as well. So it's going to give a clean line to that black backing that I'd kind of destroyed by taking the staples out of it. And I'm just going to use a Sherbonder fabric glue to glue on this little trim piece. And it's just overall going to make it feel very soft to the touch. You won't feel any of those staples. You won't see any of them. And it just gives it a really nice finish. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I I swear I'll try my 
Actually, so in love with how these turned out and I put this chair kind of facing down so you can see from the underside how nice it looks there was like I have one more to do I've got one whole chair left to do this process did take me a little bit longer than expected um, probably part of that was when I had to take off that first black backing um, and basically redo a whole chair so it basically did five chairs but um, in the end I really really love how they turn out Doing this little trim piece on them made such a difference because if you are reupholstering a chair, a lot of the time if the chair base is wide enough, you won't see the staples. Like you'll just put the chair cover right back onto a base. The staples would be hidden by the actual chair base itself. But in this case, as you saw when I flipped the chair upside down, you can see the underside. You can feel the underside if you're sitting on the chair. If you were to put your hands underneath the chair to scoot it in, you would actually feel those staples. So this was a really important step in making sure that the bottom of the chair was just as nice as the top of the chair. I'm really excited to show you guys the actual vintage MCM table that I'll be pairing this with. It also has that beautiful walnut finish and that the table is just absolutely stunning. So these chairs are going to pair so well with it. I love how these turn out. Let me know what you think down in the comments.